It's time for everybody's favorite segment of the week, the Best Bets Show, UFC Vegas 99 edition. I went through, I got my bets in. Throughout this video, I'm going to give you four bets in addition to the daily fantasy plays that we have absolutely been crushing throughout the year. I'll show you the results for that. And throughout the video, I will let you know where to get my bets for UFC and PFL. We got a limited time offer available to you. Please take advantage of that because there's a lot of MMA going on this weekend and you'd be stupid. Not to take advantage of the limited time offer. We're getting two cards. And I got bets on UFC and I got bets on PFL. And I feel real good about the PFL card. PFL has been a great portion of the profit this year as well. So lots to go on throughout this video. But uh, let's take a look at the results from last week. Prop bet on Cody Haddon, L. He had the back in round two. Thought he was going to lock it up. But Dan Argetta sh- shrugged him off. And uh, we lose that one. But it was a long shot. A little sprinkle. We did lose the round prop bet on the fight to not go the distance. Argetta showed insane durability. I did not think he was going to be able to withstand the, the punches from Cody Haddon as he took some big shots. A lot of big shots. I thought maybe he would slow down. He did slow down, but Cody Haddon did slow down a little bit too. Either way, it was a plus money bet. We lose it there. We lose the, the fight not to go the distance. Tough one there, but we lose it. And lastly, we did win the parlay, pretty much the safety parlay. If you watch the fights, it was pretty clear that this these fights were going over two and a half, and uh, we cashed in there. Minus 143, ate the chalk. We, we uh, threw two units on there. So on the week last week, we won 0.2 units, but we're still down 4.01 units year to date on the best bets record. All the results are right there. We were on a little losing streak. We turned it around last week, so maybe we can keep the, the momentum and get a green week this week. I got four bets for you, and uh, I feel pretty good about it. So stay tuned. We'll get into it. Parlay, over two and a half. Women's fights should be an easy cash. It's chalk. We're going to eat the chalk, swallow some water, but we're throwing two units on it. It's just a nice little bankroll builder here. Ardeline Martinez, over two and a half. Ardeline might get takedowns early. Martinez should be able to not get finished. She should be able to get back up to her feet. They should be able to make it to a decision. I don't see either girl getting finished. Edwards, Vidal, Jocelyn Edwards been to a decision every single UFC fight. Let's knock on wood for that because if this is the fight where she gets finished or she finishes her opponent, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Uh, but she just doesn't have a lot of finishing upside. Vidal is not good. So the only thing that worries me is that Vidal is just that bad that Jocelyn Edwards can finish her. I'm going to bank on that she's not because she's on a little losing streak. If she gets finished, if she gets punched in the boob again and she goes down. She should just retire. She should retire because that was the way she got finished her last fight. She got punched in the boob and she took a TKO loss. Let's try not to do that. So over two and a half, two women's fights. I like it. You could even throw the other women's fight in here just to juice it up a little bit. But these are the two that I like to go over two and a half. Two units, nice little bankroll builder to start us off on the parlay. We'll get into the underdog fantasy plays. Year to date, we're positive 48.52 units uh, between DFS plays on underdog and on better. So this is a very solid portion of the money that we're making on, uh, on MMA. If you're in one of these, these uh, highlighted states, you're eligible to play. Download the app. Use code HAYJIVE for a deposit bonus up to $1,000. There's a link down in the description to join. I'm telling you, boys, this is, this is my alleyway. This is my alleyway. So if you're going to tail anything, tail the DFS place because I crush it. I crush it on this. Uh, last week, we were up three units. We should have been up more. Uh, because Jared Gooden was a, an absolute idiot. But either way, we almost hit the five-legger. We went four for five. But as I, I sh- told you last week, you only got to hit like three a year. We've already hit three, so we hit four. It's just even more profit uh, throughout the year. So download the app. Use code AJ for a deposit bonus of the $1,000. You can use that deposit bonus to put on these plays. 20 extra this week. Nikolau, not a high-volume guy. He's probably going to be... Defending takedowns for a lot of the fight. Could be on his back for a lot of the fight. I don't think he's going to rack up much. Uh, lower there. Brad Katona, higher on significant strikes. Love that. It's going to be a, a high-paced fight that probably goes to a decision. I don't see either guy getting stuck on their back for long periods of time. But even if they do, we know the fight's going to go 15 minutes. There's very low chance this fight does not go 15 minutes. And I think both guys could get 80-plus. Uh, they're high volume guys, and they're both very durable. So, Katona higher than sixty and a half. Love that. Kyler Phillips, if he's not an idiot, he should be shooting takedowns on Rob Font. 
Rob Font can't stuff a takedown. Takedown defense is lower than 50%. Kyler Phillips can grapple. He has some solid takedowns, solid entries. He should be able to get takedowns on Rob Font. And this fight is favored to go the distance over the course of 15 minutes. He should be able to get three. Melissa Martinez, higher on significant strikes. She is a high-volume girl. I mean, she's her brother, David Martinez, very solid point fighter. And I think Martinez is a solid point fighter as well. Ardeline is pretty easy to hit. She slows down as the fight goes on. I think she should be able to rack up 70-plus here, giving Martinez higher than 56.5. Pineda, lower than 38.5. He's gone under this number in five straight fights, I believe it is. Uh, he's not a high-volume guy. He likes to sit down on his punches. And in all reality, this fight probably turns into a grappling match between Pineda and Elkins because Elkins is a is more of a grappler. He can be a punching bag, but that's when he's going up against really high-level wrestlers that he probably just not not having a lot of success getting taking or getting takedowns. And I think Pineda can be taken down. He's going to be looking for subs. So uh, lower on significant strikes there for Pineda. Upside for an early finish as well. Talked about Phillips. We talked about Pineda. This is a correlated play here. Jocelyn Edwards would be stupid not to be shooting takedowns on Vidal, who has no takedown defense whatsoever. If she gets two-plus takedowns, the probability of Vidal going lower on significant strikes goes up tremendously, and we have a 3x payout here on this correlated play. I like these correlated plays. I know we've lost the, the last two, but I think there's a lot of upside with these correlated plays when we're still getting the same payout. So Vidal lower, Edwards higher on takedowns. And then this one, Almobayev higher than one and a half takedowns. The dude averages like six takedowns per 15 minutes. This fight's expected to go 15 minutes. I know Nikolaus 94% takedown or defense or whatever it is. I don't think it matters. I don't think he's faced a wrestler like Almobayev. You could say he's faced Tim Elliott. Cool. You watch the fight with Tim Elliott and Nikolaus. Tim Elliott's not really committed to these takedowns. He's just not. He's a guy that that's super awkward. Once Elmo Baev gets a hold of your leg, he's going to drag you down with a single. You're, you don't have any chance of stuffing it. Just what it is. He's going to get two takedowns. I feel good about that one. And then Katona, higher on significant strikes as well. This is the money play right there. I love that play so much. Once again, there's a link down in the description. Download the app. Use the code HF for a deposit bonus. Use that deposit bonus on these plays, and we'll make some money. Now, let's get into the prop bet. Fight ends by sub Elkins versus Pineda. It's plus 265, and I love it because I love both guys to get a sub here. I like Elkins as far as a money line perspective just because he's got better cardio, uh, maybe a little bit better durability. We know Pineda is dangerous, especially with the submissions. He's got a nasty guillotine choke, and Elkins is probably going to be shooting takedowns. Pineda might be shooting takedowns. Like I said earlier, I think this fight could turn into a grappling match. I think either guy could get subbed. Um, so I like Elkins to get a sub. I like Pineda to get a sub. I think the fight could end by sub. Plus 265, you're getting really solid value on that. I'm putting a half unit on that uh, only because, you know, I, I do have another bet on this fight, but I, I think this fight ends by sub. is just, it's a beautiful spot. The fight's not favored to go to the distance. Um, and in all reality, I, th- I don't like taking KOs now with the new gloves. I think the fight, it does end by sub. Plus 265, I love it. It's a nice little prop bet for you right there. Now, I'm going to give you the offer. Use code PFL at checkout on the Home of Fight Picks Winnable, and you'll get a five-day free trial. So you'll get the UFC card for this Saturday, and you'll get the PFL card for Saturday as well. I think I have about six bets on PFL. Um, I don't know exactly how many I've, I have on UFC, but I know I got about 10 units out. Year to date, we're positive 39.48 units on the sportsbook plays and positive 48.8. 5-2 units on Daily Fantasy. Last week, the sportsbook plays went up over 5 units, and we went up 3 units on Daily Fantasy. So positive 8 units last week on the UFC card. Now we got 2 cards. This is a great way to get in to the Home of Fight Picks Winnable. Use code PFL for a 5-day free trial, and uh, you'll get 2 cards. So you get a real bang for your buck. There's a link down in the description to join. Go join up, and you can see all the bets that I have for this weekend. Get into another prop bet. Brad Katona, plus three and a half point spread. I love it. I love it. Brad Katona is a veteran. Gene Matsumoto is a great prospect. He's 16 and 0. He's never lost. So I don't really feel too confident saying that Brad Katona wins this fight. But we do know it's going to a decision. And we have seen a lot of split split decisions over the past couple UFC cards. In fact, eight of the 14 fights that have gone 
to a decision in the last two UFC cards have been split decisions. This is a split decision. Brad Katona is covering the three and a half point spread. In all reality, we just need Brad Katona to one, not get finished, which he's never been finished. Two, just needs to win one, one round on all three judges' scorecards. And we win. I think this is a beautiful spot where we could take minus 120 on Brad Katona plus three and a half point spread. We throw 1.5 units on that and we cash a bet. Brad Katona is a solid fighter. He doesn't have the greatest ceiling, but he has a very, very solid floor. What I mean by that is he's solid all around. You know he's got good cardio. You know he's got solid striking, good takedowns, good takedown defense. I think this is a great spot where we, we play the plus three and a half and we cash a bet. Minus 120, 1. 1.5 units there on Brad Katona. Let's get into the better picks place. Again, this is DFS play or DFS app. If you're in one of these purple states, you're you're uh, eligible to play on better picks. Use the code HJ for a deposit bonus up to 250 bucks, positive 48.52 units year to date. Use that deposit bonus on these plays. There's a link down in the description again uh, to download the app and get that deposit bonus. We'll start with the two leggers. We already talked about Ma- uh, Martinez. I like Matsumoto as well as Brad Katona. I think it's going to be a a high-paced striking battle uh, when, when it's on the feet. Nicolau, lower on significant strikes. We already talked about that. Uh, Hernandez, I'm going to take him lower on significant strikes. Why? Because Pereira is not the easiest guy to hit. Um, and Hernandez is going to be shooting takedowns. I don't think he's going to be able to land a ton of ground and pound. I do think there's a possibility that this fight just doesn't go that long. I think Pereira could finish him early. Uh, I do think Hernandez could probably wear him down into the second, third, fourth round and find a finish. I just don't really see a ton of striking going on from Hernandez. I know he's very active on the feet, but Pereira keeps his distance pretty well. He moves pretty well. I think once he gets the takedowns, he's really going to have to try to control him or just chain wrestle, chain wrestle, chain wrestle. I don't see a lot of opportunities for him to be landing a ton of significant strikes. So lower or uh, less than on Hernandez. Less than on Pe- uh, Jessica Penne. She's a low-volume striker. Elise Reed doesn't actually get hit with much. She doesn't. She's, she has pretty solid striking defense. And Penne is going to need to get this fight to the ground. Can she strike with Elise Reed? Sure, but she's not going to have a lot of success. She's going to look to take the fight to the ground. She's going to look to to find a submission win on the ground. I think she maybe could. So I like the lower there on Penne and then Katona again. I just can't get it off of Katona and Matsumoto uh, more than or higher than on their significant strike totals. Just because we know the fight's going to go to the distance. And we know both guys are durable. We know that they can put out high volume. So I like those. Those are uh, 3X payouts there on the two-leggers. And then a nice little long shot here. I'm not going to go through them, but a lot of them are, are kind of repeats and uh, maybe a couple outliers. But 50 bucks wins 49.50. It's a 99X multiplier because I use my better bucks. If you don't use your better bucks, it'll be a 100X multiplier. Eight legs. Let's get it done this weekend, boys. Let's get this, get this done. We can cash a 99X. Once again... Better picks is linked down in the description. If you're in one of these purple states, you're eligible to play. Use the code HEYJI for a deposit bonus of the 250 bucks. Put these plays in, and we'll make some money. Lastly, not lastly, but the last play or last bet I'll give you is a little prop bet, a little HEYJI sprinkle. Michelle Pereira by submission. It's plus 850, boys. It's plus 850. I know I took Fluffy Hernandez for an official pick, but this is just too good of a line. To pass up. He's won back-to-back fights by submission. He's choked both guys out unconscious his last two fights. We know his squeeze is deadly. Hernandez has shown he can get sub sub before. He got submitted by Marcus Perez. Marcus Perez, pretty solid submission guy. But Perez was cracking him a little bit. I know this was a long time ago. But we've, the fact that we've seen it, plus 850 on Michelle Pereira. To win by sub. The opportunities for him will be there. We know Hernandez is going to look for takedowns. We know Pereira can hurt guys on the feet and then find the sub. This line just doesn't make sense to me. It is absolutely worth a sprinkle. Pereira by sub, plus 850, 0.2 units, just a little sprinkle. Uh, I love it. I love it. I just It's a line that I looked at and I'm like, if I don't play that, I'm going to be kicking myself if he gets it done that way. Because it's plus 850, just a little sprinkle. I don't really love him to win over the course of five rounds, but I know he's going to be dangerous early, and I know the opportunities are going to be there. It's the type of line that I just have to play. And I had to share it with you, because if I don't share it with you, 
and I post a reaction to it of it hitting. People are going to be like, why didn't you share that? Well, I'm sharing it with you right now. Plus 850, Michelle Pereira sub. Plus 850. Lastly, I'll join or I'll ask you, offer to you to join the free Telegram channel. I will give you updates on uh, any promotions we're running with the Home of Fight Picks Premium in there, as well as some free picks throughout the week. I'll drop a free PFL bet. I'll drop a free UFC bet. I'll drop the, the daily fantasy plays in there as well, and the long shot d parlays that we cook up on Saturday. Join up. It's free. There's a link down in the description for that. Stay tuned. Uh, stay up to date, I should say, with everything going on uh, in the Jive Gang betting world. Appreciate you all for watching. Please like the video. Share with a, a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your bets down in the comments. Till next week, UFC 308 next week. It's going to be insane. Till next week, Hey, job picks. Yeah.